with respect to the problem statement and the problems that arise in four data data. So we know that the problem statement for this project is that some four data data are bulky and very expensive to accomplish the task desired. Now with this project, I have aimed to keep the cost low while still accomplishing what the customer wants. And I've mainly done this through my literature studies and the accomplished product, and you will see. Now to accomplish the task of building a full dehydrator with regards to keeping it cheap and effective, still, I, I considered many consumer facts such as one thing is users do not like to uh, use something multiple times to get what they want out of it. So I decided to make it a, still a large to medium sized full dehydrator, but this time I changed the material and I considered a more efficient heating element to cut down on electrical costs and to cut down on the, the cost of the electrical heater. Now, the sensors used had to be of high quality and the material of the system had to be pretty efficient. So I did an in-depth study considering what needed to be done and this can be seen in the literature study of my report. Now as can be seen here, you can see the images of my final system and you can see how it looks it's a it's a black uh, closet type of um, look and it's black because heat and or light is absorbed by the color black so the system can retain heat from the outside in and it also has an LCD and key pattern for the user to control and you can see how the system looks and you can see some of the images here that convey the inside of the system where the equalizing grid is, where the fan inlet and outlet is. And if you want to be more specific, it can be shown in my report. And this is the system. The results can be seen here shown in the following pictures where the food or the fruits have been dehydrated. And you can clearly see that the images show um, that the fruit is dehydrated and the following graphs indicate to the level at which the system performs. I would like to remind the viewer that the heating element has was heated up to a temperature of 75 degrees and at one point at one test let me say it reached up to 85 degrees but the average temperature throughout the system remained around 50 degrees which is sufficient to dehydrate fruits.